What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video, I want to talk about communication and how you can use these different ways to make sure that any new project or anything you take on runs smoothly. Let's get into it. So first thing is contact details, making sure you've got email addresses and you've got maybe phone numbers, Skype. Yeah, just basic contact details to start off with. And um, this will give you different ways of communicating with artist clients or if you're an artist and you're working with a producer. Starting a project, we need to make sure that everyone knows what, what's expected of the from the project. So starting a project, everyone knows what the outcome is going to be. Um, the lines of communication is always open. Normally I like to work with whatever is easier for the artist. If it's remote work that I'm doing, then email, WhatsApp works nicely. So sometimes you can send a text or an email and I don't know, maybe someone's feeling a bit sensitive that day and it can come across in the wrong way because obviously you can't ha you don't have tone it's kind of hard to put tone across in an email or in in a text been trying to reach out to you all day are we on for tonight ah oh, shoot keegan's been texting me sorry dude missed your texts i assumed we'd meet at the bar whatever i don't care whatever i don't care is his problem so, i mean i know you can use emojis and lol depending on who you're working with this might that might not work do you know what i'm saying it could be uh yeah like if they're too maybe they're a bit prim and proper and i don't really like the whole emoji or the lows and stuff like that but this is something that you you kind of find out through working with this person if you've been working with this person over a period of time then you kind of get used to each other's personalities ways of doing things and communicating so the way you word things won't get get taken out of context and won't come across the wrong way but what i find is easier is voice notes simple voice notes either through whatsapp or on insta sending a quick voice note on there and just maybe updating the artist whoever it is you're working with you can just quickly send a voice note they can send you voice notes and um, yeah I find that that works best rather than keep sending emails. So that's communication through standard stuff, emails, WhatsApps, Skype, it's stuff if you use that and phone calls. So you're working on a project and you want to communicate your ideas but you, you don't really know how to put it across. I would suggest using voice notes. That's what I've done. I'll be working on someone's mix and they will want certain things doing in the mix and instead of me doing the whole mix and sending it off to them to listen to, I will just go into Insta, do a quick video recording or send an audio clip, send that over to them, they can say tell me yes or no or they can tell me whether it's right or wrong. This speeds up the process so much more than you having to do all that work and bounce, do the, the little tweaks and whatnot and then bounce it all out and then send it off in an email. So this is just saving time because time's important. Once it's gone, it's gone. You already know that. So yeah, that's that's the importance of communication for me. Just keeping the lines, keeping it open, making sure everyone knows where it's expected from the project. So once once you do all that, then you should have, you should, it should run smoothly. If there's any problems, like I said, from the beginning, make sure everyone knows what's going on and what's expected and you should be okay. Even though these are basic tips, it's always good to know and get a refresher on how you can communicate your ideas and make your projects run smooth. Hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram as well. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below or hit me up on Insta. I'll always reply, uh, unless I've missed it for some strange reason. But yeah, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Peace.